actually I was quite shocked because to me, you know, uh, if you have breast cancer, to a great extent, sometimes you feel that it is genetic, you know, somebody in the family has had it and all that. But in my family, no one has had cancer. So it literally came as a big shock to me. Every Friday, my family would come to my house and we would, everyone would come. They would bring food. It was like potluck. We would have prayers, you know, and that was one. Every day, everyone would call me. So I would be consistently on the phone talking to someone. After I came out of the operation, they come and talk to you and they ask you whether you're fine, you know, whether you're okay with having your breast removed and all that. But I never really had an issue with breast removal. To me, it was just get rid of it. You know, I don't want it. It's cancer ridden. I don't want it. I never really looked at it as as an object of beauty, you know, like, like some people do that. So I suppose it affects people like that more, you see. I'm not really affected by saying the word breast, but I think in the community that I come from, um, in, in a sense being Asian, all right, um, I think certain words, certain, you know, um, events are rather taboo. And uh, like, like when it came to telling my mother, you know, I realized that there was not even once when she, when she mentioned the word breast cancer. In fact, one day I heard her talk, talking to her friend and she actually told her friend, I can't even say that word. When I, when I look back, I, the, the thing that gave me great happiness was joining uh, the Breast Cancer Foundation. I made so many friends here. And we all kind of, you know, whenever we meet, we get together, we gossip, we, we've gone out together, we've had lunch together. And um, getting this whole new group of friends um, has really given me a lot of happiness, actually. But generally, I think my outlook in life has changed. Change is inevitable, you know. You can't control uh, things around you. Um, Almost every day things are changing and we've got to change as well, you know, and uh, that's life, that's life.